I'm Pastor Goodman. This is Ashley Sheldon. We did a breakaway on Under the Cross. This is a uh, future podcast that is going to be geared at addressing mental health issues. Today we talked about addiction. Uh, spiritually, we have two words that work the same for us, sin and addiction, because an addiction is not making bad choices over and over. It's, it's a condition. Uh, and sin is not making bad choices. It, it's a condition. We, we find our help for this in Christ our Lord. Definitely. And when it comes to addiction, you know, we talk about how it's not a moral failing, right? It's not you just make a bad decision. Like Pastor said, it's not like you just make a bad decision over and over and over again. Um, it's it's a disease. It's a chronic illness. It's a it's an addiction. It's a disease. Um, and it's it, it's because of your brain, right? It's because of a lot of things, nature and nurture. Um, it's not just because you don't want to quit something. It's not just because you don't want to stop doing something. Um, it's a disease. It's a mental health issue. Um, and so we talk about how, you know, it's meant to have you get help for, right? It's not supposed to be something that you do on your own. It's not supposed to be something that you magically fix yourself, self-medicate. That's the issue in and of itself is that you're trying to fix a deeper issue and something else. Right, but it's also not your identity because you are baptized. You are known by what has been done for you. You are known by the waters that have made you holy before the Lord. And so as you start to struggle with this addiction, and yeah, we struggle. We find our hope in Christ, our risen Lord. And as we go out, we engage in the fact that well, it's, it's hard to be loved when you're an addict and it's hard to love somebody else in the midst of their addiction. And so one of the ways that we do this is we love as God has first loved us. We recognize that all of this love takes a shape, it takes a form for when God so loved the world, he died upon the cross for you. Love looks like a cross. And so when we love our neighbor, we also love our neighbor in the same ways that God would work through us. It's not your job to just open your heart to the people struggling and have them make better choices. But God sends love. He sends helpers, he sends vocations like therapists and pastors who are given to address the spiritual and mental nature of all of these things. Um, go ahead. Um, absolutely. And when it comes to that, it's it's meant to be a place that you can get support, right? It's not supposed to be something that you're supposed to fix yourself. Um, like Pastor said, there's vocations, right? There's therapists, there's groups, there's all different kinds of resources. And there's resources for family members, for support people, for friends, um, because loving somebody that struggles with addiction, whatever that may be, is hard. Um, and, and it's valid for the addict, for the person struggling, and it's valid to be frustrated as a family member, as a support person, wanting to see that person get better. So in all of it, the help for all of these things is to find ourselves under the cross. We cling to the cross where our sins are buried, where our Lord has forgiven them, where our Lord has conquered them. And the love that we have for each other is born there as well. In all of these things, we hope that you'll continue to follow us in this podcast, that you will find help for all of the things that attack us spiritually, mentally, physically, and recognize that Christ who has buried them has also risen. Thank you for watching Higher Things Video Shorts. If you're looking for an easy way to support higher things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell icon for content notifications. You can follow Higher Things on social media and on our website, higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing, we ask that you remember us in your prayers and donations.